Hi Shanti. How are you guys doing? We are We're fine. fine. Yesterday, I have texted you guys about a biology project. So I'm going to explain it to you guys. Basically, the project is about producing a food and market the food. But the problem here is the food should be a fermented ones. So do you guys have any ideas about fermented foods? Mm, maybe mm. ice cream would do. Mm, but Sanchu, ice cream is not a fermented food. Oh, okay. How about sourdough? Yes. Ah, uh-huh, yes. I agree with that. So, I guess we should start our project now. What do you guys want to do? Who wants to do what? I'll be the baker. I want to be the researcher. I want to do marketing. So, I guess I do the introduction and handle all the costs. I hope this work. Good luck. Bree. Bree has a bad reputation in these days. Why do I say so? This is because Bree contains high amount of carbohydrate and high glycemic index. But remember, not all breads are created the same. For those of you who wants to reduce the consumption of carbohydrate but prefer bread, I guess sourdough is the best answer for your wishes. Sourdough bread is a type of bread that undergoes fermentation using naturally occurring lactobacillus bacteria and wild yeast. What is fermentation? Fermentation is the process of incomplete breakdown of glucose in a condition of limited oxygen or without oxygen. Sourdough bread undergoes two types of fermentation. One is alcohol fermentation and another lactic acid fermentation. Even modern studies suggest that bread made with sourdough is good for health compared to bread made by commercial baker yeast. Next, moving on to the procedure, we need a bread starter. All we need is all-purpose flour, water and yeast or lactobacilli bacteria from the air. For every 24 hours, Fit the starter with 120 grams of water, 120 grams of all-purpose flour, and half of the starter. This feeding process needs to be continued until day 5 or day 7. To double check, drop a small spoonful of the starter in a cup of water. If it floats, then it is ready to be used. After the bread starter is ready, we can move on on making the sourdough bread. On day 5, add 4 cups of flour, 2 tablespoons of salt, 1 and a quarter cup of water and 1 cup of starter bread into a bowl. Knead for 10 minutes using a mixer machine. Next, place kneaded dough into a large flour bowl, then sprinkle flour Add towel over the top and let it rise for 12 hours. After that, place rice and dough onto a flat board and knead for a few minutes. Then, place it into a flat proofing basket. Sprinkle flour on the dough and let it rise for another 4 hours. Flip the dough onto a parchment paper and transfer the dough and paper into a cast iron Dutch oven. Score the top of the bread and bake at 480 Fahrenheit or 250 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. 
Take the lid off and bake for another 15 minutes. After that, remove the parchment paper and knock the bottom of the bread to listen for a hollow sound. Now the sourdough bread is ready to be served. Extra toppings such as cheeses, nuts, seeds, grains, wheat, or even butter can be added to the dough to add diverse choice of plain sourdough bread. The size behind the sourdough bread can be seen clearly from the process of making the bread starter. It is important for us to keep the bread starter in the dark and room temperature for the lactobacillus bacteria and the white yeast to live and grow easily. For your information, white yeast is naturally present around us in the air. The yeast present in the starter will react with glucose and releases carbon dioxide which will help to rise up the dough. This is how alcohol fermentation occurs in this process. Whereas for the lactobacillus bacteria, the bacteria will undergo lactic acid fermentation and produces lactic acid. The acid will give sour taste to the bread and the acidity of the sourdough will help to keep the bread fresher for longer. Now let's see some of the benefits of sourdough bread. The first benefit is sourdough bread supports healthy blood sugar levels. It is because the long fermentation process will break down carbohydrates so it may modify the structure of carb molecules. Moreover, sourdough bread can improve the absorption of minerals. This is because the acid that blocks the absorption of the mineral-rich properties of whole wheat is broken down during sourdough fermentation. Lastly, sourdough bread can ease digestion, especially for those with digestive problems. This is because the white yeast and lactobacillus bacteria are pre-digest starches which can be easily absorbed and digested by our digestive system. Now, let's have a look at the production cost and the final price for sourdough. The cost will be demonstrated in the form of table. The cost of the ingredients is calculated according to 8 servings. For the first and most important ingredient which is all-purpose flour, it costs for one ringgit thirty-five cents per kg. For the next ingredient, which is salt, it costs for one ringgit twenty cents per four hundred fifty gram. Lastly, for water, we don't include the price for water. Lastly, the total cost of all the ingredients is two ringgit fifty-five cents. Now, let's think for the price of sourdough bread. The price of it for sourdough bread is ten ringgit. I consider this worthy. Because although the production cost is cheap, but the time taken to make sourdough bread is long. I consider this is worthy. Sourdough bread could be potentially commercialized in cafes of a hospital as well as bakeries close to the hospital. This should be done as sourdough bread helps with those who face digestion issues. It would also be better if hospitals themselves could prepare sourdough bread in the meals that they provide for those who are in serious condition. Nowadays, social media plays a vital role in keeping people connected and updated on current events. Therefore, using social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter would be a good approach to market the product. By having various social media accounts, the possibilities of getting more orders is high which increases sales. Apart from that, joining the local market would also be a good idea as it helps in gaining recognition and increases production of sourdough bread at the same time. Lastly, supplying the product to bigger name companies such as coffee bean and tea beef as well as the loaf will bring benefit to both parties and creates good partnership between both companies. All in all, sourdough bread is tasty and satisfying, good for health, cost efficient, and can be widely commercialized. Hence, sourdough bread is the best choice.